Today, I am going to talk about loyalty. Loyalty as it pertains to companies as a form of culture. What is loyal? What, what is a loyalty based company? In fact, what is a loyalty based culture? You know, by and large, most people think a loyalty based company is a good thing. Companies like to think of themselves as loyalty based. Management likes to think of, them, of themselves as being loyal to their employees. Employees like to think of themselves as being loyal to the company. And by and large, if you ask somebody, are you a loyalty based company, they are likely to say, yes, we are a loyalty based company. But what is loyalty? What is a loyalty based culture? To understand that, you have to ask yourself, how is a loyalty based culture different from just a rational culture? How is a loyal, what behaviors occurs in a loyalty based culture that would not occur just in people who are just rational people? So, to understand whether you are a loyalty based company, ask yourself this question. What behaviors do we exhibit as management in our company that rational business people would not do? Otherwise, if it is exactly what rational business people would do, it's, there is no distinction between loyalty based companies and just ra running companies well. What behavior do you exhibit in your company that is not something that a rational businessman would do, but you do it because you wish to be a loyalty based culture? And likewise, you could ask that of the employees. What behavior do your employees exhibit that rational people would not? That it is not in their own personal interest, but they do so to be loyal to the company. That would explain, that would illuminate what loyal, loyalty based culture means. So, for example, you as management, you might uh, decide that you are not going to lay people off. During down times, during when business is down, you might decide you are going to hold on to your workforce, so that you keep them till such time as business comes back, and when it ramps up, ramps up you have the workforce uh, to deal with that business. Now, is that loyalty based, or is that just rational behavior? You found it advantageous to hold on to the people, rather than letting them go and hiring them back. If it is the latter, that is not loyalty. You just did what was good for you. On the other hand, if in fact, the good businessman of in you would have said, no, let them go, you can always find them later on, but you decided out of loyalty, you said, I am going to hold on to these people, continue to give them a paycheck, make work for them, and keep them such time until work comes back, and even though it is going to cost me, I am going to do this, because I am loyal to my employees. Now, that would be loyal behavior. Similarly, your employees might decide that they will do overtime, or they will work extended hours, they will work over weekends to take care of increased workload that needs to be done. And they go over and beyond what normal rational people would do, because the company needs them to do it, and they are going to do it, and they know that the company will take care of them on a different date at a different time. That would be loyal behavior by employees. Let me give you an example of that. There was a company in its early days, a very loyalty based company. In its early days, they um, had an employee, Dorothy. Dorothy was a very loyal employee. Dorothy was a very loyal employee. She, in fact, many years ago, she canceled her vacation that she had long planned for that very next week so that she could stay back and help you clean up after the fire that you had in the plant. You had a fire in the plant, and she decided she was going to cancel her vacation, stay back, and help you clean up. Now, well, that is loyal behavior. She was loyal to you. She, for, for, uh, she let go of her vacation and decided to stay back and help you clean up after that fire. At what point is loyalty different from rational behavior? To understand that, let me give you a definition of loyalty. 
a definition of loyalty. Loyalty is the practice of maintaining unrecorded items on the balance sheet of personal relationships. Let me repeat that. Loyalty is the practice of maintaining unrecorded items on the balance sheet of personal relationships. Let's, let's instantiate this definition on the example of, the, of Dorothy that I mentioned to you a few minutes ago. When Dorothy canceled her vacation so that she could stay back and help you clean up after that fire, what might you have said to Dorothy if you were that employer, if you were that person, if you were the owner of that company? You probably would have thanked loyal, uh, Dorothy profusely. In effect, you would have said to her, I owe you one, Dorothy. I owe you one. A liability you hold. A liability. By the way, that liability is not written on your balance sheet. There's nothing on the balance sheet that says, I owe Dorothy one. No, it's an unrecorded, off the balance sheet liability that you hold. And you had, on that day, every intention of discharging that liability at some future day. Now, on that, at the end of that week, what did Dorothy say to herself? She probably said, this company, I know this company. This company will take care of me. I know this company. This company will do right by me. They'll take care of me. Now, did she write down in her balance sheet, in her net worth, this company will take care of me? No, no. You see, it's an off-balance sheet, unrecorded asset she holds. This asset and liability that each of you hold, the fundamental principle of the school of loyalty is this. The fundamental principle of the school of loyalty is that these assets and liabilities will eventually reconcile. That on a future day, a future event will occur where there is an, uh, another event with an offsetting asset liability the other way. So that Dorothy now has a liability, you have an asset. And these assets and liabilities, they won't match one for one, dollar for dollar. But the school of loyalty says, over time, these assets and liabilities will eventually net to zero. That each person will get assets and liabilities, they will all net to zero. That's the fundamental principle of the school of loyalty. Loyalty is a fantastic tool. It's a great tool for small companies, for startups, for uh, family companies. You know why? Because loyalty provides for cash flow without the use of cash. You see, 15 years ago when you had that fire in the plant and Dorothy stayed back to help you clean up, you didn't have the cash capacity to go hire a professional cleanup crew. Who was your cleanup crew? Your cleanup crew was probably your brother-in-law that lived across town, your next door neighbor who had a, was a good friend of yours, and Dorothy who canceled the vacation. That was your cleanup crew. Now, you issued chits to all three of them. You issued these IOUs to all three of them. Loyalty is fantastic because it allows for you to create activities in the company for which you did not spend cash. Create cash flow without the use of cash. Now, in a loyalty-based culture, both the employer and the employees have this fundamental belief, they have this faith that these assets and liabilities will eventually reconcile. Yet, now, if these, this faith goes away, the loyalty-based culture fractures. If the balance of assets and liabilities gets imbalanced, the faith in loyalty-based culture gets fractured. So you've got to make sure that there's a balance in the assets and liabilities. Both the employer and the employee are doing things out of loyalty that would not otherwise have been done out of rational behavior. If that doesn't occur, you will lose faith in loyalty. Back to the Dorothy example. You see, many years after that fire, let's say you did something very nice for Dorothy, very publicly, and imagine a new employee, a new employee who has no historical knowledge, has no history of the fire, the cleanup, Dorothy, her vacation. She has, this employee, new employee has no history. They see you doing good things to do for Dorothy. What do you think the new employee thinks? Devoid of history. Devoid of history, your actions look like favoritism. 
For the new employee, they don't understand why those things is treated so well. Because they don't have that history. The trouble with loyalty is that it does not scale with size. When, an, when a business gets large, when the history is not well understood and recognized by everybody, what otherwise are behaviors that can be explained due through loyalty look like irrational behavior devoid of the history. Loyalty does not scale with size. When the company gets small, large enough, you've got to move on to some other culture. The other issue, if the balance of assets and liabilities get very imbalanced on one side, faith goes away and loyalty does not survive. But when it does work, loyalty is a fantastic culture because you get cash flow without the use of cash. Remember, loyalty is the practice of maintaining unrecorded items on the balance sheet of personal relationships.